Hey you, what is going on guys and girls, and it also knows everyone welcome back. Now welcome to yet another tutorial in Visual Basic. Now I'm first off going to say I'm sorry, but I'm using Visual Basic 2010. Um since I um reboot my computer, Visual Studio twelve or Visual Studio twenty thirteen doesn't want to run the setup. Oh, it runs, but then there's this sort of error thing. I've updated my internet explorer and everything, um, but it's just not working. So the first thing you guys will need uh, to do is to make sure that you're watching the right tutorial. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you basically the basics, the layout of the web browser, or of the advanced web browser. Now, the reason why I'm doing an, an advanced web browser is because I've had so many requests. I'm saying so many, I don't just mean like 10 request um actually i probably do mean about 10 requests let me see if i can send it to facebook quickly i'm going to my epic fan page right okay don't worry about my name etc it's already hidden um so as you can see i've actually got people two people that actually have liked my uh status from last night and um I have quite a few, nope, not that type of inbox, uh, I have quite a few messages here, I got uh, this guy wanted me to do one, let me just go to my timeline, uh, I got this guy wanted me to do one, this guy and this guy, uh, this guy was just some random person, he probably still watches, but anyway, we're going to get into this and it's pretty simple really, I'm actually going to be showing you what the aim of this is, and as you can see, why uh, have I got my menu strip here and not on my tab one it's because we're going to have this button which enables the settings right here just like Google Chrome basically so it looks like this uh, obviously the buttons won't look like this because I've just created up buttons um, so as you can see we've got this menu I click it this tab or well, this thing pops up here uh, I click it again it goes it's basically like a little settings thing instead of the uh, menu strip, but if I press Control T, okay, okay. Right. Control T won't happen um, because I, oh, right. let me just, as you can see here, uh, this is in the wrong place. Where really it should be here, and whatever code that was, I forgot what the code is. Uh, remove. So if I double click on this remove tab, as you can see, there's nothing here. So obviously that's why that won't work. But um, I'm going to start off again um so what you want to do is you want to create your project if you haven't done so already i'm going to call mine adv and then web browser tutorial now sadly i won't be able to get all of this in one take because it will just take forever so it, there's going to be about four or five parts to this and i'm sorry about that so as you can see we've got our first formula, you don't want to click anything as the properties will be like this and we're going to change this to, actually no sorry, we're not going to change it to anything because it's form 1, it's not supposed to be changed. Now if you want to you could really just change the text of it, um, let me just put that over to this screen, but because I want it to display the version of my um, program I'm going to highlight text, delete text double click the back so it opens up this form one underscore load and I'm going to add in me dot text equals and then I'm going to call in ADV browser and then I'm going to put this little thing there and I'm going to put in V and then I'm just going to put an end uh, quotation and then I'm going to put add and then application dot product version sorry product version dot uh, not product name and I'm going to add beta and then and then tutorial oh, wait I need to put quotations around them too so if I press start debugging that is um, as you can see it comes up here with the version but you might just be thinking that um, product version is just the 1.0 thing so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change the assembly information to two, uh, to 5 3 2 uh, th okay 32 and then I'm going to press start again. And uh, you can okay. Oh right, okay. Um, so the assembly version is actually the file version. Uh, sorry, the uh, product version is actually the file version. 
So you need to make sure both of them are the exact same, because otherwise it won't change as you can just see. So you just got to make sure that all that's correct. So I'm going to put this back to normal now, which is zero, because obviously it's just the first release type of thing. If you wanted to, you can go ahead and put the assembly information in now, but I'm not going to just because I want to save time. Um, so also what you want to do is you want to press enter and you want to put dim t as new tab page. And you want to put dim new tab. Oh, sorry, new new tab as new tab. Don't, oh, wait, right, you just want to put tab. And if you want, you can put like a e there just for a bit so it doesn't change to tab control. Um, I'm going. Uh, what you want to do then is going to put new tab dot show, and then you want to put new tab dot top level equals false, and then you want to put new tab dot uh, dot doc equals doc style sorry doc style dot fill then you want to put t dot controls uh, controls dot add and then you want to put new tab then you want to put t uh, sorry tab control one dot tab pages and then you want to put add sorry dot add and then in brackets T. Uh, you're going to get these two errors if you haven't already been able to put tab then you're going to get two errors anyway and don't worry we're going to add another windows form and now as you can see we've got this tab is not defined because we did this tab dot show sorry new tab dot show but we did new tab as tab now tab is our uh, um, form so we're going to well, in our uh, add new item and windows form we're going to name it tab.vb and we're going to click add now if we go back to here as you can see this is now blue or sign whatever you want to call it I have no idea what that says D top level oh, sorry. there you go um, and tab control 1 is now an error so we want to go back to uh, form 1 and now we're going to add in a tab control we're then going to click this little box thing here and click it again and you want to scroll down here and click dock and pin it to the middle now the size of the web browser on form 1 you want it to be whatever size you want it to be just make sure you debug it at your own uh, size now don't worry about this this won't actually be like this um, oh it, it currently will be because we haven't actually done uh, like the top level is no so it's just the uh, form uh, basically, because the form border style on tab is sizable, this is why we can do that. But we're going to go ahead and do that in a minute. Um, so as you can see, there's nothing actually here currently. So let's carry on. So um, obviously, we're going to want to make sure the size is fine. Once you make sure the fine uh, size is fine, you then want to add in your icon. If you've got an icon, if you haven't, don't worry. And you then want to make sure that show, show icon is true, unless if you don't have an icon, you can put it's false. I don't have an icon, so I'm putting it's false. And then if you want, you can just pretty much sort all this out if you really want to. Um, I think it's fine currently, so I'm going to um, go ahead and finish off on this form for a bit. And that's going to be the menu strip, and then I'm going to add it in. Okay, right, no we're not. We're going to... Uh, click the pointer and then go over here dock undock it we're then going to add in the menu strip oh where's the menu strip menu strip and where uh, where we scroll down it says dock you want to put as none and you can just put file for a bit and you're fine for a little bit and now what you want to do is you want to do uh, send this to back and then you want to dock it again so this file thing is always shown and I'm actually just going to add something there so we don't lose it and now what we're going to do is where it says in form form one eye we're going to then add underneath this menu strip one dot hide now if you're wondering why we're going to put dot hide is because we don't want it showing up on our form the reason why we don't want it showing up on our form is basically because it's going to be hidden. They go, there's going to be a 
uh, well basically the menu strip is only the shortcuts as we don't have to set our own shortcuts it's like the best thing we could possibly do but if you want the menu strip go ahead and do what the last tutorial was about but if you don't then do what I'm doing so you the tab uh, dot vb you want to make sure the form border style is none once it's none uh, you then want to change the text to nothing because obviously it's going to be bolder so it doesn't really matter you want to put shown taskbar as false show icon false and you want to scroll up where it says control box false uh, I believe that's it no it's not right where the tab control one is you want to click it you want to view the size you want to copy the size go over to tab paste the size and uh, we've got the sorted for a little bit um, so yeah the Start position doesn't matter really. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's do a little bit coding on this. So we're going to double click the background. We're going to put dim new tab as new tab. Now as you can see, this is totally different coding for what it used to be. Don't worry at all. It doesn't matter. Like, uh, like, not not even like the most tiniest bit. Now we're going to put panel two dot hide. Don't worry. Again, doesn't matter. We're going to put my dot settings. Uh, you want to put my dot settings dot panel two, then equals and then hidden. Now don't worry, you're going to get an error on panel two on my dot settings. Do not worry at all. It doesn't matter. Uh, but currently, I'm going to go through. Actually, no, I'm not. There's one thing that I need to do. Uh, we're going to press enter. We're going to put new tab dot doc equals doc style dot fill now if we just control z uh, control x then to commands and press start um, as you can see the form is currently here now you don't actually know it for example like uh, in tab if I added in this data set now I'm going to cancel that because that will fuck up the form itself um, if I add in this label and then click start you will see that the label is there so that's just proof that the form is actually here as you see the form um, if you don't know if um, if you can't tell the difference between the tab control and this little grey area then um, it's not in basically um, but if you don't know the tab control is um, default background is control so you could actually go no it's not control what is it then? Is it something like this? Oh, Alright, okay, so it's button highlight. So if you wanted it like that, you change its button highlight and you're fine. But I'm not going to because I don't want it to be the exact same colour. So I'm going to change mine to control. I'm going to delete the label one because we don't actually need that currently. Um, and I just deleted that. So let me just quickly open up the code. The code instead of me just double clicking the background again. Right. Um, so what's next you might be asking well, we're going to paste in this thing again and we're going to go into project uh, properties assembly information and no sorry not assembly information settings and we see setting you want to change that to panel 2 value you want it to be hidden with a capital H otherwise it won't work and we're going to click this so we can save it and as you can see this error will go that's because we've added in the panel 2 but now we've still got the problem where panel 2.hide isn't working because panel 2 is not declared. Oh, and if you don't have this uh, box down here, you want to go to Windows and... Wait, do you go to Windows? Oh, View and then Code. Oh, is it? No, Other Windows and then Error List, sorry. <laughs> Mine's always been there, so I haven't needed to go through and edit it. Um, anyway. We're then going to add in uh, a panel just because we're going to and it's just easier to navigate all of our controls and this is where we're going to change the back color to active caption and this one we're going to change this to control uh, we're then going to put the location as zero zero I did it might not like that just because it's easier and I'm going to put this all the way across now depending on the size of your panel depends on the size of the buttons that you're going to have so um, I'm just going to add in a button this will be my back button well my so called back button 
I will add in another button. This will also be one of my buttons, which is my forward button. Uh, it will then be home. And then it will be refresh. I'm just going to leave that there. And it's going to be uh, stop, like stop, but uh, um, stop searching even. And then it will be a text box. Uh, text box, here it is. And then, of course, there's going to be another button which says go or search. And another button for the menu. Now, um, this is where you want to make sure you download this buttons thing. Now, if you don't have this button things, do not worry because you don't actually really need it. This is for people that don't want to create their own buttons, but they want images, if you know what I mean. It's very easy. You just download it. Make sure you have Photoshop, though. If you don't have Photoshop, you could just Google things, like the images. And um, if you want to skip this tutorial thing on how you work this, then go ahead and uh, click the time on screen now. And it will show you, well, it, it will skip you to the end of this little tutorial thing. But it seems as you're still here, it's either that you haven't clicked it, the annotations aren't on screen, or your annotations aren't on. So if they aren't on, make sure you click the annotations on. And go ahead and go back, or uh, whatever. <laughs> anyway, so you, or well, the first thing you want to start off doing, you want to click this magnifying glass, you want to put actual pix, sorry, fix screen, fit screen. As you can see, this doesn't make any sense really because it's all pixelated, but it says follow the tutorial. Um, so you can just click this eye for it to go, and as you can see, there's uh, nine, sorry, eight, sorry, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, I was right, eight. There's eight groups, and it's there's a search button, there's a back button, there's a forward button, there's a menu button, and there's a home button, refresh, stop, and a search. So if you can see the stop one, but search, okay, now. You're going to be wondering why is there two search buttons? Now the reason why there's two search buttons is because uh, this is for the um, search engine that we're going to add in. Uh, it's pretty easy, but just in case you, you know you could go into the search and you could change it. Uh, you could have change this to search and this one to go, or you know any. I, I just added it in just in case you wanted them different colors. Um, so. You click the one that you want to use currently. I'm going to use the M menu, and you want to double click this thing. So this thing, and you can change. You can uh, change something. Um, now, if you want the background changing, just you know, uh, move it, like, drag it down one, or it's either that, or it's going to be like this for you, like exactly like this. And every single one, if it is, you just want to double click it, and then you can change the background of it. But if you want it back to the normal color, it's zero so you can do so like that and then if you want to export it you make sure it's uh, showing up on here for example like if you want home uh, make sure it's showing up and then you want to put file save for web and this will pop up and then you want to make sure it's png 24 okay it's going to be the highest resolution but it's going to be good you want to click save and then you want to put it as where if you're saving it to no don't add in dot png because it's just going to add a dot png at the end of it anyway so it doesn't really matter so once you've got that done, um, I'm just going to exit because I've got all my buttons done, really. So welcome back if you guys have skipped it, if you haven't, well, I feel like a twat now. But, um, yeah, so we've got these buttons. I'm going just to highlight all these buttons and drag these down. I'm going to click this button one, and there's going to be this text. I'm going to remove the text. I'm going to scroll up. Now as you can see this four color, you want to change this to whatever the uh, panel is. Obviously I put it to control, so I'm going to put it as a control. Flat style, you want to put it as flat. Now what this will do is it will give the button you no know, background type of thing. And you want to scroll up. Uh, and you want to go to background, image, you want to click the ellipses, click local, resource, import. And you want to import whichever button is going to be here. This is my back button, so I'm going to click back, btn, click OK. As you can see it's here. Now the background title I'm going to put is zoom and then I'm going to make it like that. Obviously that looks like a really perfect size. You can always put it smaller if you wanted to. Um, I don't really recommend it as it doesn't look as professional really. Uh, it could be whatever you want really, just the layout, it doesn't matter at all. 
Uh, obviously you don't do it like that size because that looks pretty stupid so I'm going to just resize it like that now yes I know what you could do you could just copy the uh, buttons for every single one of them and yeah that, you're right it does seem better because you get your own little button ID it does still count to the coding it doesn't add a line or something on the other coding so if you do that all that you need to do is go back into background image uh, obviously click clear and then import clear just allows you to still edit the file as it's being used click ok for forward and it changes and then control V again and then I'm going to make sure it's the right type of um, <laughs> I don't even know uh, you want to make sure it's on the same level and I'm going to do this uh, That ain't gonna work, is it? Ah. Okay, right, control Z. Um, one, two, three. One, two, three. There you go. Um, obviously, you could actually just have it like that, but I want mine to be semi professional, even. Now, the only bad thing is, if it's not like this, and uh, you've got it, like I just had it, where they were both pretty much like, no, I. Uh, sorry, right next to each other. If you click the back button, you might accidentally click the uh, forward button, which can mess up the coding. So, just for that reason, I've just thought to myself that it's more common sense to not have it in this tutorial until I know the proper tutorial of it. So, home button, I'm going to click o uh, sorry, open for this because this is going to be my home button. And then I'm going to press Ctrl V again. Uh, I'm then going to add in my uh, refresh button then I'm going to add in my stop button which stops the search import uh, stop btn click ok now you could actually just always in that .psd file just keep it but just change the icons I'm happy for you guys to do that you can do so this is just something that I came up in 10 minutes so yeah so as you can tell I haven't added in the search button don't worry it doesn't matter currently because I'm going to add it in now I just wanted to do the text box uh, now as you can see I get this like yellow oh, this type of purple thing it's just making sure it's the uh, right like it's on the right line you could also, uh, you could also check by the location as you can see at the end it says 4 and all these it says 4 as well okay this one says 3 we will now say 4 nope it said 4 good point I'm just making sure on all these now. No, okay. These aren't doing it either. Alright, right. So that's all them sorted. Uh, I then need to go ahead and again in here, clear this and add the search BTN. Uh, once that added, I'm going to uh, leave these three anchor to the left, click the text box, scroll down. Where it says here, I'm going to uh, anchor this to the right also. I'm going to anchor this to the right instead of the left. And I'm going to add in a final button. I say final button only for now. Until the next tutorial, change the location at the end of 4. Uh, I'm going to move this across the side. Is that changed yet? Yeah. And I'm going to... I'll go ahead and just expand this. It doesn't really matter currently. I'm going to go ahead and uh, clear and import and add in the M button or the icon thing. And now the only thing that we need to do is add the Microsoft Web Browser. Again, if you don't know how to do it, you go right click on one of the things down here, whatever, or you can just right click anyway. Uh, choose items, wait for it to load up. Now it's actually going to be a lot slower on this. Just because it likes to be slow in visual, uh, visual basic 2010, 2013 and 2013, sorry, 2012 and 2013 for me just loaded up straight away. But this doesn't want to. Okay, so once it's loaded, you want to go to com components or com components. You then want to left click, press M, it will then take you down to Microsoft. You then want to scroll down and see Microsoft web browser. Now it's going to be unticked for you. You then just want to tick it and click OK. You'll then add it in down here. You just want to left click it onto your tab. Um, form, resize it, uh, you then want to make sure it's the exact same size up here or oh, it's uh, in line up here shall I say and then you just want to attach it to your entire uh, I guess 
perform really uh, you then want well obviously not over your panel uh, you then want to go ahead and anchor it again you left click it go to anchor and then just anchor it to the correct um, to the um, correct uh, sorry I was just trying to change this background to um, black or something because I don't know if you can see but um, it's kind of white also like this pretty much the same color as this uh, web browser and I don't want it to be just because it kind of gives it away now obviously you can actually just give it a border so you can tell but I don't really want to so yeah so if you see if you want to save okay you can't save it currently uh, panel 2 is again not declared don't worry uh, I just forgot about that actually so I'm not actually going to lie uh, we're going to add in another panel make sure it's the second panel and where you can see right up here you want to make sure it's right at the end now you've got to be careful about this because it's got to be just underneath here and then extend it over there bring it like this and now where we go back into the coding as you can see it's here and this is the panel 2.hide and if you're wondering why we're going to hide it it's because as soon as we click this menu button it's going to pop up that way now you can put it to whatever size you want just put it to a reasonable size so you can still click the web browser but whatever size it is currently that's the size that it will be when you uh, show it so we're then going to save this very quickly just in case anything happens to your computer and then we're going to debug this now if we click any of these buttons here nothing's going to happen even if I press www.google.co.uk and click enter nothing's going to happen why? because nothing's going to happen it's because we haven't coded anything so I'm going to click exit and I'm going to click panel 1 and I actually forgot to dock this so I'm going to scroll down dock it to the top left and right this I'm going to dock this to the uh, le uh, to sorry, top and right and if we press uh, thingy again it will be fine apart from this uh, thing here this uh, thing hasn't docked itself properly as you can see at the end so if we go back into form 1 okay it has docked itself but um, okay right well don't worry about that really um it doesn't really matter uh, I guess the only thing I'm gonna have to do is move this to the left about three and move this to the left about three and hopefully that will sort out my little popping thing where the M is cut off okay yes it has it's okay no it's not it's still there fuck there you go move it like that move it like that okay right so it's better now the buttons there the buttons fine now uh, but again we <laughs> we haven't coded anything so um, let's see what time it is okay it's about 30 minutes in that would have been probably cut down hopefully and um, we're going to do some coding I'm going to do as much as I can um, currently and then I'm going to um, well I can always edit it out etc um, so the coding that we're going to do currently is just the back button etc and we're going to do it on both of these now we're going to add new tab like, if you're wondering why it's because we still need to do it on here um, make sure it's exactly the same as what you're going to call it on the other one Otherwise, it ain't gonna work. Um, I don't know why I said that other one because this is going to be our little thing. Now we're going to add something in here where it says shortcut keys, and they click on it, and when they click on it, it will tell them every single shortcut key that is on your program. So we're going to left click new, uh, sorry, new tab. We're going to scroll down to the bottom, shortcut key, put it as true. Uh, shortcut keys. Where it says no. You want to press Control and then click T. T so it goes over here and then that will be done uh, we're going to have the move tab left click the background uh, and then press this and then press control uh, D to delete um, now refresh tab uh, we don't actually want that to be honest um, or do we? do we want a refresh tab? if you guys want a refresh tab just uh, tell me I guess um, if you do want a refresh tab actually uh, okay, there is no uh, refresh tab. Looks like it, so you know, I'm just going to carry on. Uh, we're going to have print, uh, and then we're going to have print preview. Then we're going to have page setup. 
we're going to have full screen we're going to have settings just as a shortcut and we're going to have exit uh, we're going to double click new tab and the following coding is what it is, I'm actually going to have to type, uh, write this down, hopefully it is the actual coding because I cannot remember, I don't have I don't have a different um, visual studio, uh, sorry visual basic project or anything so anyway it's dim t as new tab page dim new tab as new tab I'm going to put new tab dot show then I'm going to add new tab dot top level uh, equals false I'm going to have new tab dot doc equals doc style dot fill I believe uh, that hopefully is the correct coding I'm going to have t dot controls dot add and then new tab and then form one dot tab con sorry we're going to just have a uh, tab control one dot tab pages and then dot add and then t um so as you can see okay I, i've just realized it's pretty much the same coding here <laughs> i've literally just found that out it is the exact same coding oh well it doesn't matter that it's actually supposed to be the same coding but yeah, you guys might just be thinking that I've been looking at. Um, anyway, uh, we're going to add remove tab now, and it's going to be if form one dot tab control one dot tab. I no idea why I've added tab. Uh, sorry, uh, form one uh, tab count equals one. Then dim t as new. Basically, I'm just going to copy this. And then you want to add a tab control one dot selected tab dot dispose and then you go to add else and then just tab control one dot selected tab dot dispose now what this is actually going to do is it's um, if uh, you have one tab currently on your web browser it will then remove that tab but then just launch a fresh tab um, so basically, it you cannot actually remove the tabs to zero, uh, but if it doesn't have one tab, then it will just dispose the current tab that you want, and obviously, um, it will select you on a different tab. If that makes any sense, probably not. So I'm just going to uh, do a little example. I'm going to press Control T. Obviously, that's going to give me a new tab here. Now I'm going to press Control D, which is going to move the tab. And now if I press Control D, as you can see, it's actually just refreshing. The page now a way that it is doing that or oh, it's actually not actually free version because if this was if this web browser was currently on Google you would see that um, it's not actually currently there and I have uh, no idea what this is doing what is this doing I go like this it's like, oh right I haven't um, anchored this button down apparently so top right uh, top and right I was just thinking, what the hell is it doing? Alright, okay, that's better. <laughs> so, Control D is just going to um, refresh the page, kind of. And uh, if I go into Form 1, now if I head press uh, Control X for this, don't worry about this, don't you guys do this, and press Start. Came over here, now if I press Control D, as you can see, it wouldn't load up another uh, tab, which is what I'm on about. So yeah that's basically what it does it just adds another tab so nothing can be there and nothing's broken really uh print is pretty easy um it's actually really easy to be honest uh since i found out the coding so it's ax web browser okay it's tab dot ax web browser because this is home one and then dot ex uh ecw B, uh, SH, and uh, basically you do SHD and then OCVW, and you want to scroll down to print. Um, print, it's just print one, not print two. You want to double click it and then put comma and then uh, prompt user. 
and that is that one. Uh, print preview, you just want to put tab dot ax whereas a one dot e x e c w b s h or well basically you want to put print preview on this one and then you want to put hello xbox one what the xbox one that's what's what xbox one i don't know no the phrase is it coordinates it's not me oh the fun of it yeah, yeah. uh coordinates in probably depends whose xbox it was Jason. oh no i don't think she had it yeah. I, I can't remember yeah. Uh, print preview, then comma, and then SHD, and then prompt to user. Uh, oh shit! Right, uh, da da. I'm just making this kind of clean. Uh, that is correct, right? <laughs> um, better be. I don't have a printer to test it either. So uh, the next one, which is the page set, you want to put tab dot xwebbrowser one dot exec, and then uh, page setup. And then comma, and then prompt user, and that's it. You've done the printing codes currently. Um, oh wait, we haven't even done um. <laughs> that that was a fail. We haven't even done shortcut keys. So it's Control P for print. Um, we're going to go on print preview. We're going to put Control Shift and P. We're then going to do Control Shift. Alt and P for the page setup. Oh, so the reason why we're going to do Control Shift and uh, Control Alt and Shift is because it's it it's something to do with the um it's something to do with print basically. So we're just going to add that in full screen. We're going just to do uh, Control F for Control F. F not F one settings control and S. Now as you can see, I didn't actually click control. Um, I actually just press control on the keyboard and it pops up. So yeah. Well, actually no, I, I didn't actually click control. Control it doesn't work. It's just a space bar. You, know, you can yeah, basically it's just a space bar. Um, exit is going to be control. And escape. Um, I don't really want to press escape on my keyboard because I've done this before, and it's deleted. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the project currently. Press Control and escape. Oh, okay, escape isn't a key, so we're gonna have to just put E. Hopefully, no one will be an idiot and just press E. Um. Uh. So I believe all that we've got to do is do full screen. So double click full screen. And uh, now the um, coding for full screen is going to be pretty long. It's pretty easy as well. It's, it's not actually that long to be honest. So you want to put try and you'll get this catch as exception thing. Now you just want to remove it. And then you want to put this here. Um, just, just make it uh, shorter. So you want to put this. Full screen, the tool strip menu item dot text equals exit full screen. Then me dot form um, form 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 border style equals windows dot forms dot windows form border style dot sizable. Me dot top most equals false me dot window state equals form window state dot normal and then you want to put me dot sorry you want to put full screen uh full full screen top strip menu to item dot visible equals true then you want to put me dot close me I don't know why I was just about to put me dot close again. Uh, okay. Actually, I think I have to put me dot close twice. And then you want to put a enter, else, enter, and then if full screen 
uh, tool strip menu item dot text equals full screen oh, okay we need a parenthesis uh, full screen then me dot close um so now if we click save uh, remember that full screen is control F click this uh, debug come over here press control F okay that didn't work um, that really didn't work did it <laughs> no you get into applications um, <laughs> Let me just compare something here. Uh, when, uh, when start the form closes. Let me try it on a different web browser and I'll see what happens. I think I found out why. I think I was correct about this me.close. I don't know why it's there. Right, so now let's try this again. So control and F. No, if <laughs> think I'm missing out on a quite a bit of coding here. Um anyway, I'll get back to this full screen thing in a second and then we'll sort out the coding from there. Uh settings, you just want to double click settings, you wanna put settings dot uh dot show. Obviously you're gonna get this thing here. Just carry on with it and put dot show and then just highlight it and destroy it like that uh, exit you're just going to put end it's that simple that's like the most simplest coding ever it's just end literally and uh, yeah pretty much that's how simple that is um, now we're going to because this coding's done we're going to cl uh, click off the form etc make sure you save it otherwise it ain't going to work um, so now all that we have to do is go ahead and go into our tab now we're going to double click the back button and we're going to put ax web browser one dot go back actually no we're going to put try and then ax browser dot go back and the reason why is because if there's an error if the AS web browser cannot go back, it will not do, uh, or it will not go somewhere like not responding. Um, it will not go not responding and it will just shut down. Where if you got try, it won't do so. And um, it basically, try means oh, try and do this, but if there's going to be an error, do not do this and do the following. But because we put nothing like else in there. Um, it isn't going to um, do anything. So the next one's going to be go forward, and uh, after that, it's going to be go. Uh, it ain't going to be go home. Sorry, it's the home button, but it's not actually going to be go home. So we're going to put try, and then ax web browser one dot um go go home, and then in brackets, um wait, I think it's go home. Um, navigate, that's it, navigate, and then in brackets, it's going to be my.settings.homepage. Don't worry, you're going to get an error for that, but we're going to sort that fucker out now. So, we're going to press project, go into our properties, go into settings, now where you see panel 2, you want to click underneath it, it'll say settings, you want to change it to homepage, and... Make sure that the value is www.google.co.uk Or you could put it as whatever, really, it doesn't matter currently And um, once you press yes to save that, we you click off it And as you can see the error is going to go apart from the settings one Because we haven't actually done settings yet So in the refresh one, you want to go ahead And put AX so I try and then AX web browser one dot uh, refresh. Uh, then we're going to put try and then AX web 
browse a a x web browser one dot stop. Okay, then I'm going to make this look professional by doing this coding thing. C the coder just looks way better when you do that, so I'm um, sorry that's why I uh, had to do. Um, so the search button that we're actually going to do is it's going to be pretty simple to be honest. It is like the most simplest thing. Also, you probably think it's going to be something like strong, uh, sorry, strange, but we're going to put try, and then it's going to be ax web browser one dot navigate, and then in bracket, oh yeah, in bracket you want to put text box one dot text, and catch x as exception. You just don't want to do what we normally do, and then we're going to add an else here, and then we're going to ha have it's browser one dot navigate. Uh, da, 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 da. Actually, no, we can't put else because there's no if. Uh, don't worry, it doesn't matter. Um, it's. I was going to do it so if there's an else, um, like if there's an error in, in that like um, little coding thing in there, it will just carry on and try and do the same thing, which normally fixes something. But I'm guessing it doesn't really matter. Um, so now we've only got the M. Uh, thing to do so you want to put panel to dot state uh, sorry uh, yeah panel to dot status I was correct uh, I have no idea why I didn't think it was correct and uh, I've obviously it's going to give you an error because we haven't defined it now we're going to put public sub panel to status uh, yeah I want to remove the dot in the thing uh, Panel. There you go. And you want to put try because we're going to use try statements quite a lot. And then if my dot settings dot panel to equals hidden equals means the value that is in there. And then uh, panel to dot show. And then my dot settings dot panel to equals uh, and then parentheses and then showing else sorry else not s all else uh, if my dot settings dot panel to equals yep showing um, then panel one sorry tr panel two again dot hide and then my dot settings dot panel two equals hidden and that's that it's pretty simple now I'm going to click save I'm then going to go ahead scroll off here find where okay well, it's not on there is it no I right, just go into highlight this press control X I'm going to press uh, the debug button I'm going to go over here now we press home it's going to get the information from the settings and it's going to take us to home um, if I put www.youtube.com I know I could just click this but yeah, I'm not going to because I don't see the point currently as I'm trying to <laughs> show you guys the buttons and that they work so I'm going to press search so I'm going to search for that now obviously there's no uh, progress bar that comes down here currently don't worry oh my god you forgot to see the progress so funny um, I think it's on like 15 million views um, anyway um, um, I don't know. anyway as you can see the search thing worked so now I'm going to put back uh, the user back one obviously that works I'm going to click the next one I'm then going to refresh the page, the page is going to refresh, I'm going to click it again and then press stop uh, in fact I'll do that to home and press stop uh, I, I don't know if that actually finished so it's going to be awkward um, in fact I'll do it in one of my own videos I, I just clicked it and I just pressed stop no I didn't press stop, damn it stop playing, Jesus Christ um, 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 you know, I'll just do it on this best uh, loadout. I'm going to refresh it and then I'm going to press stop. Now, as you can see, there's a white page because I stopped the uh, refreshment. And you can just do this, you could press stop whenever, like if something pops up on your screen, you press stop, it's fine. It pretty much works that way. And now I'm just going to press the home button and I'm going to press this M. Now, as you can see, the menu pops up. And if anything was here, you'd be able to click it. Um, and you know it shows and disappears now if you had a checked button from Krypton you could code it so then when it's open when this panel 2 is showing um, then it was 
be checked so then it proves that it's actually up just in case people forget They'll be like oh why isn't it why, why is this thing on my screen um as always though you can always just go ahead and change this color to whatever you want i'm not fussed really it doesn't really bother me anyway i'm going to paste on this settings dot show again i'm going to press save all and because this tutorial is pretty much an hour long this is just the first two uh, forms um, it's it's not the uh, search engine I wrote. I'm going to do that at the end of the season. Oh, season series, I guess. Um, so guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please raise it and as a really to help me out. And um, guys, I hope I see you next time.